I decided that I wanted to just grill some veggies and some healthy stuff. Um, it's summertime and I know a lot of people have a lot of barbecues and barbecues don't always have to be unhealthy. So I decided to shoot a quick video and show you a quick recipe, quick ideas of what you can do in the summertime. You can do it with your family, your friends, your kids super healthy very delicious and great for your body so get ready so I have my grill going um, I'm gonna start showing you all the ingredients I have chopping my veggies I already have my chicken over here um, I season it with um, garlic um, you know, I put a little bit of curry powder, olive oil, and salt and lime juice. Okay, so what? Well, that's there, just absorbing all those flavors. I'm gonna show you my ingredients. I have cauliflower, mushrooms. You can choose any mushroom you like; it doesn't really matter. Um, I have garlic, sweet potatoes yellow squash, zucchini, whatever you want to call it. Everybody calls it something different. I have avocado. Um, I love avocado. I'm a big avocado fan. And um, I have some lemons over here, green lemons or limes. And I have some pineapples, okay? It's optional, you don't have to use it, but it just gives it that extra little bit of flavor, okay? So while I start chopping, um, the rest of my veggies. I'm gonna take the sweet potatoes and I'm gonna, since they take a little longer to cook, this is, I use a bag. I, I feel like it makes it easier when you wanna season um, vegetables and stuff. So I'll add all my sweet potatoes in there. I'm gonna add a bit of olive oil, just a little bit. Sprinkle of salt. Not a lot because we can always add more salt at the end. You're gonna mix it well. Then we're gonna add lots of garlic. I love garlic. Love, love garlic. You're gonna mix it very well. Then I'm gonna take some foil. And you could just add your potatoes to the grill directly but if you put it in the foil they just cook quicker because of the steam it stays in the in the little pouch that you just create there right you see nice quick so I'm just gonna put this right here let that start cooking and while that's cooking, I'm gonna continue chopping my veggies. Have the cauliflower, you can chop it as small as you like or leave it as big as you want. There's no rules here. You make your rules. Okay, I'm gonna keep the same bag. It already has some seasoning in there. So, okay. So this is about 
one and a half head of cauliflower. It's a small, small one, not too big, so. All right, and again, we're gonna add a little bit more olive oil, just a little bit, pinch of salt, some garlic, and there, and then we're gonna take, I have mushrooms over here. You can either leave them just like this or just, depending on how big they are, cut them in half. All right, and it's up to you how much mushrooms you wanna add. Like I said, there's no rules, so it's up to you, I mean, to me, the more the better. So I'm gonna use all of my mushrooms that I have here. That's like about a cup and a half of mushrooms. Okay, have mushrooms in there. Now we're gonna take our squash, zucchini, and we're gonna cut her in half and we're gonna take half of it and we're going to chop it. All right, you can cut it as small if you want. If you wanna cut those pieces smaller, all up to you. Okay, like that, now mix it. Just add a little bit more olive oil. Just a little bit more garlic. And then I'm gonna use some lemon juice. I'm gonna add it in there as well. Okay. Again, just mix, mix, mix. And then now we're just gonna add the veggies to the grill. On one side. Mm. Right there. The veggies are over here cooking. I'm gonna grab my chicken. These are just chicken breasts. Then again, there's no measuring. You measure when you serve your plate. I mean, you can always save for next day, right? Two, three, and I have this little guys. I'm gonna add them there. Oh, the little guy right there. So now we're just gonna close it and keep it there. Just keep an eye on it. Come back and bow five to six minutes, turn the chicken, turn the veggies, check on the potatoes, and we should be ready to eat in no time. 